wants a pretzel. Do you see anything different? I put some lipstick on. Especially for you people. Because then you can see my mouth. I noticed earlier that my mouth disappeared in the glare of all my lights, my lighting. Hello! <coughs> um, Right, today, today, today. I was gonna do a really fast video. I thought, let me do a quick one because I have no time to do videos really this weekend. But I can't do a quick one. It's just not possible. I suffer from the curse of convolutitude, convolutitidity. I suffer from the convolutitidity curse. I've been cursed to be convoluted. I cannot do straightforward, clear, cut, clean, straight to the point. It's not possible. So I'm now doing a proper long video. Um, so, what to say, what to say. I have lots to say as usual. So, let's start talking. Okay, I'm going to start talking. Um, <gasps> painting fell over it's okay it's saved um, everything keeps falling in my house room I have too many wires and everything okay I have a clover mini iron it gets really hot and it can mount things I love my clover mini iron cuz it gets really hot not right now and it melts things. It took me a long time to find this because I kept searching online for, what did I say? Small hand iron. That's what I searched for in Google. Turn out that if you search on mini iron, you find loads of these. If you search on small, if you search on small hand iron, you find all sorts of golf equipment, which is not what I was looking for because I don't think golf equipment can mount wax. Anyway, <clears throat> so if anyone wants to buy these mini hand irons, eBay eBay um, sells quite a few so search on clover mini iron with the quote on quotes and then you'll find this and so I'm going to show you today because I'm completely addicted to melting wax I'm not really even caring so much for the effect it has on the painting which is also very cool but my, my, my thing is is that I just love sitting here and meditating on how the mix melts <laughs> <laughs> it's so therapeutic to just feel the, the you know the wax go disappear under under the weight of the the melt the, the the iron. So yes, so this is my new favorite piece of tool, favorite piece of equipment.
So what I do when I notice that I'm criticizing myself and judging myself, I ask myself, Tamara, if your best friend would come to, or your lover or whoever would come to you with the same problem or the same uh, thing that you're supposedly meant to have done that you're not happy with, would you say the same things to them? If I say to myself, no, I would never say what I say to myself to my best friend, then I ask myself the very pertinent and important questioni. I say, then why do you say it to yourself? And then I shut myself up. <laughs> so by saying, would you treat your best friend that way? And usually the answer is, no, I would not. Or would I say these things to my best friend in the same scenario? And I say, no, I would not. That usually makes me, it's a bit of an eye opener because then, then that's a good measurement for me. That's a good way of measuring and knowing that I've been too hard on myself.